okay let me create a virtual machine first i have been successfully created so now i'll try to connect my virtual machine okay ssh in space minus a what is a minus i identity identified file okay see if you don't know that suggest uh, remove this then ssh and then you can see that minus i what is minus i identified file what is my file key name so the key name we have to specify the parameter is a minus i okay so ssh minus i what is my key name key one ec2 minus user at the public api at the center okay and i want to check so what is my current swap file and how, how like what is the capacity of my current current swap file how to check that free minus sum so free minus sum and this will provide your memory information as well as swap file see what is my swap space now eh zero as of my swap is zero what about my main main memory in the sense 1 gb so see whenever you selecting t2.micro you will be get 1 gb ah uh, 1 gb ram as well as one virtual cpu okay to create swap space first we have to execute this command so dd then input format div 0 output format swap file then block size 128 mp then copy and paste over count 16 okay i'll paste over you enter so it will create a swap file okay let's wait so it will take uh, maybe 20 to 30 seconds we have to wait it's creating the 2 gb space now okay टोटल टू जी बी हेज बीन क्रिएटेड सो नाउ आई विल गो टू फ्री माइनस See, still I'm not able to access any swap file, right? Mm. But I'll go to my uh, root directory cd slash mm. ls, and here you can see that one file has been created for for my swap space. What is it? Swap, swap, file. swap file, right? So now we need to give a permission for this swap file. Now you can see that what is the permission as of now. You can see that swap file permission read write and read for other users and groups as well. We need to delimit the permission. So we have to execute ch mode. So write it on second step. Ready is the permission of swap file. Ch mode. Then six hundred. What's the six hundred mean? Read and write for whom? Only user. Okay, owner. Okay. Then I will specify the swap. Ready is the permission swap file. Okay, successfully done. So next step, we need to create a swap. So for that, we have to use mk swap. See, for example, if we want to create a file system, what is the command? <coughs> to create a file system mk no to create a mk fs right to create a swap file you have to use the same mk swap okay you have to use mk swap then swap file that's it okay so just copy this command and paste over third step write it down to create a swap file mk swap make a swap file then swap file name so then i'll paste over you mk swap then i'll specify the swap file okay end okay so successfully done so next uh okay so we have to on the swap okay by default it will be in off stage so we have to make it on for that swap on then space slash the file name so write it on for the step swap on then slash swap file by default it will be in off off stage okay that's what end okay so that also done so next we have to check swap on minus s and we'll be able to find that okay let's see swap on minus s copy this and i will paste over you and here you can see that one swap file has been created file and total we have a 2 gb space so now i will execute free minus s and now you can see that 2 gb swap space over here right and what about used zero okay once your ram is ran out or once your ram is almost full 90 percentage automatically so this user will be start to using for inactive page or inactive applications eh 60 percentage by default but we can set a custom value as well so that i will explain how we can do that okay okay minus 8 check your monitor so whether it is created or not 
So swap on minus s check whether swap swap on is activated or not. See if you executing swap on minus s, so you can check whether the swap on is activated or not. I will repeat. So first sudo dd. So this will copy uh, one zero file from this location div location to swap file. So consequently we will be get one file space two gb space. Okay. So then I will reduce the permission. So then I will uh, sudo dd if d zero okay not this this one okay so then I will on my swap file then I will create a swap okay I'll remove this one okay can I resolve so then I will on my swap file so at last I will check what is the swapness value to check swapness value we have to execute the ctl then space vm dot swapness equal to ten so write it down to set your swapness value so before we will check what is the default value so just write it down this value. So CTL, then VM dot swapness equal to ten. If you uh, use this command automatically, the sixty will be replaced by ten. So I will check what is the default value. For that, you have to use cat proc sys VM swapness. I'll copy this. I'll go to my virtual machine, then I will execute. See, if I execute this, I'll be able to find sixty. So what is the default value? Sixty. So if you want to override, what you have to do? How to change? Sorry, sys ctl swapness ten. So I'll I'll use ten over here. Copy, then paste, and done. And you can see that that has successfully changed. No swap space. Wait. Okay, so now you can see that default value is ten. So we no need to use any space over here. Only equal to that's it. Okay. So the purpose is swapping is see once your RAM is run out, then the all inactive pages, inactive application will be moved from RAM to secondary memory. That's it. See, actually we not creating any secondary RAM. So we only creating one space to allocate our RAM process, inactive inactive process. That's it. I hope you understood. Then we will try to explain what is the partition. Any doubt? ओनो जी अंदर, ऑटोमेटिकली क्रिएट ही है ना। रूट वाले, रूट वाले। नाम को वाले के लिए दिया बेहतर